We hear about leopard tanks more and more often. What kind of tank is this? How does it differ from other NATO vehicles? What is it compared to Russian tanks? And how can it affect the course of hostilities? You came here for these answers, didn't you? Let's figure it out. The German tank farm recovered for almost a decade after the Second World War, until it was necessary to create tanks for the NATO bloc that could withstand the Soviet monsters. This is how the Leopard 1 tank appeared, which opened the era of new European tanks. Previously, American tanks were in service. NATO didn't have the opportunity to produce combat vehicles in the same volumes as the USSR, so instead of quantity, they focused on quality. The new Leopard 2 tank was a logical development of tank construction, which sought to achieve qualitative superiority over Soviet tanks. Further, we will not describe the entire history of development, it would take much longer, but we will identify the main modifications that may be in Ukraine. All modifications have the letter A and a number that indicates the Leopard 2 generation. Leopard 2 A4 The previous modifications are not very remarkable, but the A4 received a lot of positive feedback, and in comparison with the M1A1 Abrams, it was almost in no way inferior in combat characteristics. Modification was made in 1985-1987. The maintainability and efficiency of the diesel gave many advantages over the Abrams with the gas turbine engine. Now the tank needed to be unified as much as possible, according to the standards of the NADA block. A fully digitalized fire control system was introduced, which allowed the use of new types of American ammunition. The forehead of the tower was also seriously protected. The tank was widely equipped not only by NADA countries, but also by many others. Many variants based on A4 fully meet the requirements of modern warfare. The base itself, of course, is outdated and doesn't really meet the standards of security and survival, so they are replaced with new machines. As a result, today the Leopard 2 A4 is widespread in the world. This means that Ukraine's allies would be able to accumulate an impressive fleet of such machines in the future. Without going into technical details, we note that the A4 surpasses the combat capabilities of the fleet of Ukrainian vehicles. And in comparison with Russian tanks, any modification is better than T-72B and B-3 in general. The superiority of Leopards, first of all, concerns communication and navigation systems, the quality and range of thermal imagers, the perfection and speed of the fire control system. Leopard 2 A5 it can be said that the A5 series has collected the most successful solutions in the A4 modernization, of which there are too many. The implementation of these machines occurred already in the mid-1990s, early 2000s. First of all, the protection of the tower was redesigned, as well as the forehead of the hull. Now only the most modern KP can hit it. The commander's thermal imaging channel was added, which simplifies the observation of the battlefield at night. Digital secure communications and GPS also appeared, and the tank began to reliably hit targets at distances up to 5 km. It was a serious competitor to Russian tanks in combat capabilities, and to the main competitor in NATO, the M1A2 Abrams, in cheapness. Today the A5 has become the most common car of junior NATO member countries. It has a number of regional localizations like the Polish Leopard 2 PL. Leopard 2 A6 it was this model that Berlin promised to transfer to Ukraine on January 25, in small quantities so far. The Leopard 2 A6 combines lethality and efficiency. The first models were delivered to the troops in March 2001. Armor protection is similar to A5. The main armament of the upgraded vehicle is a new 120mm smoothbore tank gun L55 with an elongated 1.3m barrel. Its ammunition includes projectiles with a high initial velocity, respectively, improved shooting accuracy and increased armor penetration. It can also fire any standard 120mm ammunition, which has accumulated quite a lot in NATO warehouses. These are some of the most modern cars in the line, except for the A7 and A7 Plus, and they're already in service with the tops of the NATO block and the Bundeswehr in particular. These machines are capable of creating a significant preponderance of forces on the battlefield. The question is in the quantity supplied. Why Leopards? Firstly, Ukraine has a limited number of tanks, most of them from the Soviet or post-Soviet period, 
and it is faced with the fact that Russian troops are increasingly using more modern and powerful T-90. Kyiv needs modern heavy armored vehicles to support its operations, and the Leopard is an ideal option. Secondly, the main advantage of Leopard 2 is the quantity that could be shipped and the relative ease of maintenance and logistics. Spare parts and know-how are located in Europe, so it would be easier to train Ukrainians. Thirdly, the Leopard 2 is a fairly practical car in comparison with the Abrams. Mainly due to a diesel engine, not a gas turbine engine, it is much easier to train repair units and crews for repair maintenance. Ukraine has suggested that it needs 300 tanks, while Western analysts have suggested that 100 could probably change the balance of the war. Thank you for watching the video to the end. Like it if you enjoyed it, and also do not forget to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the next issue.